In order to understand anything about computers, you need to know the units used. Units are a measurement of size, speed, volume and so on. For example, the units for liquid are millilitres, centilitres, litres, and the units for length are millimetres, centimetres and metres. In this chapter, we'll be looking at units for computers, beginning to look at binary. If we take a look at this table, we can see that the smallest measure of data in a computer is a bit. This would be either a 1 or a 0 and is called a binary unit. Increasing in size, we've got a nibble, which is a group of 4 bits. Then we have 8 bits, which is called a byte. This is pretty easy to remember, because a bit is smaller than a little nibble, and a nibble is smaller than a byte. After the bytes, there's a big jump up to a kilobyte. This is equivalent to 1024 bytes. Next, it's a megabyte which is 1,024 kilobytes. Then a gigabyte, which is 1,024 megabytes. The way technology is advancing all the time, it's quite common now to have hard drives with terabytes of storage. This would be 1,024 gigabytes. You need to know all of these sizes and in order, as you can get questions in the exam where you'd need to rank them or work out how many songs or pictures you could save on different sizes of hard drive. You can see from the pictures at the bottom of this slide, examples of different file sizes. For example, a lot of videos that you download nowadays will be gigabytes in size, a lot of music and songs will be megabytes, and your documents like Word documents will be hundreds of kilobytes or more. One letter that you type on a keyboard is one byte in file size. So now that we know the smallest unit of size in computers is a bit, we need to start looking at binary. Every single thing that you do on a computer ends up as ones and zeros. You'll learn and understand this a lot more as time goes on through your course. Everything is a one or zero as computers use logic circuits to show high voltage or low voltage. This would mean that electricity is either flowing or not flowing through the circuit. By actually means two or twice in Latin. That's where this word actually comes from. You'll start recognising other words with by at the start too. Like bisect to cut in half, bi-weekly for twice a week, bicycle because there's two wheels, and bifocals because there's two parts to the lens and the glasses. You might have seen the power button on kettles and toasters at home. These all have a one or a zero on the switch. This means on or off, and it's that same theory with computers. As part of binary, we need to know how data is being read correctly. So if you think about scanning your items in at the supermarket, what if the scanner is on a funny angle, and how does it know that it's scanned the item properly? Computers use something called a check digit to see if things are read properly. You can see the last digit on a barcode is used to confirm if the data has been read correctly or not. These check digits are worked out by calculating it using the rest of the numbers. In binary, the check digit is called a parity bit. There are two types of parity bit, an even parity bit and an odd parity bit. The idea is to make either an even or odd number of ones in a byte. So basically you take a string of 7 bits, like 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and count the number of 1s. So in this case there's 4. So if you were going to use an even parity bit, you'd have to put a 0 at the end to keep the number of 1s even. Now I know that sounds really complicated. So we'll have a look at some examples because it's a lot easier than it, than it looks. If you take a look at these examples on this slide, the first string has 7 bits. If you count the number of 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 4 1s in this string of 7 bits. So to keep it even, we'd add a 0 at the end. The second string has 7 bits as well. Count the 1s, 1, 2, 3. So there's three ones here, we'd need to add a one to make the number of ones even at the end. Finally, there is one way that computers can fail to spot an error. 
as good as computers are, there's still errors and mistakes, aren't there, all the time. So if you look at these two bytes, the first is how it should be read, and the parity bit is correct as there are four ones. But the second string also has four ones, and the parity bit is also correct. But the one, the ones are in the wrong position, so the data would actually be read incorrectly. That's the end of this chapter. The next one's going to show you how to do binary, how it works at the base level, and how to convert from binary into deanery and back again. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe. Bye.